It's for information from local professionals. Go to WBRC.com and click the pros. Good evening. Tonight, serious questions after we uncovered another lapse at CATS, the Baton Rouge Transit System. This time, it is a half-million-dollar penalty for missing important deadlines for tax documents. Our chief investigator, Chris Nakamoto, in the investigative unit with the sticker shop tonight. Sylvia, board members I spoke to say they were never notified about this, raising concern about more mismanagement under the previous administration. At issue tonight, a notice of seizure from the IRS to the public bus system that taxpayers fund. This is the type of bill that would give anyone sticker shock. $515,859.50. The WBRC investigative unit obtaining the document that the IRS sent the Capital Area Transit System. The record shows the bus system has unpaid employer shared responsibility payments from 2017. Employer shared responsibility typically refers to the Affordable Care Act. Something didn't get done right. Longtime CPA Ralph Bender says the seizure notice sent to Katz is serious. It doesn't matter how old it is. It, this is a concerning issue. Ralph Bender is also the CFO for the locally owned parent company of WBRZ. Bender says the feds do things methodically, and there were likely many warnings that were given to the bus system before it received the seizure notification. Once you receive the notice of, of levy, that is, you're, be, you're being done. It is a collection notice. We are going to take, the IRS is saying, we are going to take notice to upon you that we are going to serve process and get money that you owe us. Seasoned financial experts say the seizure notice that the IRS sent to CATS should be alarming to the taxpayers. That's because the IRS will typically grant numerous warnings before a seizure notice is sent out. A CATS board member who did not want to be identified provided the following statement to the investigative unit. There's a lot that went under Bill DeVille that we are just now finding out about. The board was never made aware of this. That's one of the many reasons why Bill is gone now. I would think a levy for a half a million dollars is something that a full board should be apprised of. Bender says the fact that even board members were not made aware of the IRS coming for their money shows problems that the bus system needs to explain to taxpayers. When I see a local bus system done for a half million dollars and $15,000, $20,000 in penalties, something didn't get done right. And the fact that board members don't know about it, there obviously was a lack of transparency. We've been asking questions to CAD since this morning about the documents you just saw. This afternoon, a spokeswoman says they reached out to the IRS, but they couldn't get any information about it.